Hello folks, this is Chelsea here. And today we're going to be going through a postnatal class, in particular, a beat and meat class. So if you have your baby with you today, they are more than welcome. And anytime you need to feed, use the bathroom, whatever you might need to do with baby, please take your time in doing so. You can always pause, do what you need to do to take care of yourself first and your baby. Right, so let's get started. We're going to need some props. We're going to need two blocks. I really, really like cork blocks. They're super stable, super firm. If you don't have blocks at home, don't sweat it. You can use two large paper towel rolls. I like them on the tallest height because they give you that, um, that space that you might need just in case you need a little extra support, right? They're even a little bit taller than blocks. So we'll need those. You can also use books if you want to, if you don't need as much space um, for belly or whatever might um, be in your way, right? So you can use books, you can use paper towel rolls, you can use even water bottles. Honestly, the tops of water bottles, they can wobble sometimes if they're not on the mat. So just keep them on the mat, the sticky mat, when you're using them. And we'll place those to start at the top of the mat. We're all going to need a bolster or a firm pillow. So a bolster looks like this. You probably or might not have one at home. It's a yoga bolster. That's okay. You can use any type of firm pillow or cushion. That works too. If you don't have a firm pillow or cushion, maybe hang two pillows on top of one another. We'll see. Yeah, so you can gauge what you need and what feels most comfortable for your body. The only pillow I do not recommend is a feathery down pillow because that's not going to give you much um, thickness and much support as we use these bolsters or just for more restorative poses to feel really grounded and supported. And last but not least, you might want a yoga blanket simply to sit on or put your knees on when we're in table pose. So I'm sitting on a folded yoga blanket. You can use any blanket, just make sure it's a little bit of a thick, a thicker blanket, right? And if you don't have a blanket, you're welcome to use that firm pillow to sit on or to place under the knees to help give your knees a little support. All right, so let's get to it. Let's drop into the body, drop into the breath. If you need to put your hair up, that's great. Go ahead and do that. If baby needs their own spot set up, then please have either a blanket or maybe a tummy time pillow and you can put it right in front of your, see, I don't have this space in my apartment in Brooklyn, but maybe you have more space than I do. So you can put baby at the top of the mat if you don't have space similar to me, you can put baby next to you, okay? So just having them close on their comfy space. If your baby is crawling, that's totally okay too. They will crawl, right? And they will do their own thing and they're exploring and that is okay. Yeah, I just ask that we drop into the breath, be mindful of our bodies, even when we're being mindful of our children around us, right? So that we can better show up for them as well. So with that, let's come to a comfortable seated position. You can cross your legs, sit on your shins and hero's pose, virasana. Find what works for you. Find where you can drop into the body without thinking too much about what shape it's in. You can begin to soften the eyes. You don't have to close them completely if you want to just have a soft gaze at baby. Take a full breath in. Blow it out the mouth. Let's do that one more time. Deep breath in through your nose. Blow it out. Feeling the shoulders come down. Just begin to sit up nice and tall, press the feet, the legs into the ground, into the mat to grow tall through each vertebra, making space between them all the way to the crown of the head. We'll just be here for a few moments. 
Just noticing what sounds you might hear. Maybe there's a lot going on around you or maybe there's not. Just taking mental note, not trying to change anything. Just being present for whatever is around you. Notice what you can smell. If the gaze is soft, notice what is around you visually. Bring awareness to how the skin feels, perhaps how the clothes feel on the skin or the temperature of your room. And then slide your awareness to the breath. Without trying to change it, just notice where it is in this moment, the quality of your breath. Is it short? Is it stuck in any one place in the body? Does it feel restricted? Or perhaps it feels fluid, like it's in motion, yeah. And it's moving with ease throughout the whole body. Once again, not trying to change it, just noticing where you are with the breath. Soften the eyebrows, allow the lips to part slightly so that the jaw can release. And we'll just begin a little controlled breath here. When you're ready, we'll inhale through the nose, throat, chest, belly expand. Exhale, belly, chest, throat, nose. Inhale, nose, throat, chest, belly. Exhale, belly, chest, throat, nose. Breathe in one, two, three, four. Breathe out four, three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three, four. Everything expands. Exhale four, three, two, one. Allow it to come back. Last time, breathe in, nose, throat, chest, belly, breathe out, belly, chest, throat, and nose. You can let go of that controlled four parts breath. Come back to your natural rhythm and rate of breathing. And slowly begin to flutter the eyes open from bottom to top. Let's start first with a little breathing and movement. Breathe in, arms deep up high. Exhale, hands through heart center. Breathe in, arms sweep up, maybe gaze down at baby. Breathe out, hands through heart center. And more like that, inhale, Sweep the arms up high. Exhale. Hands down through heart center. From here, hands to your legs. We're just going to breathe and tilt our tailbone back, arch the spine forward, broaden through the collarbones, lift the gaze. On the exhale, round through your spine, tuck the tailbone, chin towards chest. Inhale, breathing, opening through the heart. Exhale, rounding here. Shoulders come forward like you're hollowing, scooping out the front body. One more like that. Breathe and pulling forward. Shoulders reach back, heart open. Exhale, round down, scooping out the side of the body. Come back through center, nice tall spine here. And just make sure the shoulders are right over your ribs, right over your hips. And from here, we're gonna interlace the fingers Press the palms forward. We're going to take that seated cat cow again, but moving with our arm. So I'm going to show you from the side this time so you can see the arching and the rounding of the spine. So pressing the hands forward, 
Inhale, tailbone reaches back, lift up through straight arms. And exhale, pull arms forward, round through the tailbone, round through the spine. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, round down, shoulder blades really press away from one another. And last one like that, breathe in, open up, lift up as tall as you can, making space between each rib. And exhale, rounding down. Good, releasing the arms down by your side. I'll come back through center. You can stay where you are. And this is an option for you if you want to pick up your baby, if they're not crawling yet and exploring and they want to be a part of this, then they are welcome to. But I'm going to use my block in place of a baby. So if you want, you can grab baby and bring baby into your right, your left, excuse me, your hand. Yeah, and then reach up high. Yeah, reach up really high. Make space between those ribs. Breathe in. And then breathe out. Just bend to the side that you're holding baby with. Maybe look down, gaze at them. <laughs> Smile. Breathe in. Breathe out. Maybe gaze up if you'd like. One more deep breath in. And exhale. Come back to your center. And we'll switch sides. So you can bring baby to the other side. Inhale through your arm as it rises up towards the sky, really getting long through that side body. Press down through your sitting bones and breathe out, bend to the side, only to your capacity. You don't have to go any further than is comfortable for you today. Breathe in, keep reaching, breathe out, gaze down at baby. Good, keep pressing down equally through both sitting bones. Inhale, maybe look up, lift the heart up. And exhale, come back through center. Maybe pick up baby, give them a little raspberry, whatever, you're, whatever you like to do with your baby. Give them a little kiss on the cheek or the head and you can, you can bring them back onto their comfy spot. And we're going to come to tabletop. So if you have that blanket, you can, you're welcome to bring it underneath your knees. I personally like this. I feel really supported when I have a blanket under my knees. I feel like I can sustain movements for much longer in my practice, but that's just my experience. So you do what feels best for you. Once again, have your prop at the top of the mat. Good, and we'll get started. So for this cat cow on tabletop, we're gonna tuck the toes under. And if you have any wrist issues, that's totally fine. You can come onto fists. Yeah, you don't have to come onto your palms. You can come onto fists. And if this still isn't working for you, you're welcome to come onto forearms. So take whichever variation feels good in your body. And maybe baby is in front of your mat and you're gazing at your baby and breathe in. Tailbone presses back and up, broaden through the collarbones, reach up through the head. Exhale, round tailbone and chin come towards one another. Inhale, dropping the tailbone, lift the heart, lifting the gaze. Exhale, rounding down. Let's just do three more like that. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Breathe in, move with your breath. Breathe out, round down. Creating this moving meditation, breath for movement. Good, last time here. Inhale, flowing forward and up. Exhale, rounding down and in. So nice. Come back to that neutral, neutral spine. And just look down at your knees. Make sure they're underneath your hips. And look down at your wrists. Make sure they're underneath your elbows and your shoulders. But right. from here, extend that right foot back behind you and plant the toes on the mat. Yeah, maybe you have more room than me. And just notice if your right hip hiked up and bring it back down in line with the left. And then pulse forward and pulse back a few times. Yeah, just notice what you might be feeling in this right calf muscle or the right foot. Yeah. Breathe in and breathe out. 
good. And then come through stillness. I'm just going to walk myself up a bit further, but you can stay where you are if you're in a good spot on your mat. And then you can stay right here or you can lift that right leg up in line with the right hip. Really gaze down at the ground about three inches in front of your fingers. Yeah, find your stability. Squeeze the inner thighs together. You can stay here and just pulse with the knee. Yeah, when we go through the inhales and exhales. Or really ground down, engage your inner thighs towards one another, reach the left arm forward, extend from fingertips to toes, breathe in and exhale, knee and elbow come together. Inhale, come forward. Hi, baby. <laughs> exhale, knee and elbow. Breathe in, reaching, breathe out, rounding. Two more, inhale and exhale. One more, deep breath in, deepest breath out. Release the hand down and then come back to sit on your heels for a moment. Just giving our wrist a little bit of a break. You can twirl them, make circles. One of my teachers calls this the queen of England because you're waving, I suppose. It's kind of silly. Or if you want to make fists, you can do that. If you want to do the good old open, shut them, open, shut them, you can do that as well. You can come down, tickle baby. Okay, and then we'll go to the other side. Come on to all fours when you're ready. Extend the left foot back behind you. Come onto your toes and pulse forward and back. Forward and back. And maybe this calf muscle is a little bit different than the other. Or this foot is feeling different sensations than the other foot did. And just note that in your mind. We all have different um, discrepancies on side to side. Yeah, there can be different feelings that we have from side to side. And that's okay. Everyone has that. And then come through stillness again. Stack your joints. Look down. Make sure that right knee is right under your right hip. Then when you're ready, breathe it. Left leg rises back behind you. Breathe out. Either staying here and pulsing when we breathe or pressing down to that left hand. Right arm reaches forward. Breathe in. Get really long. And breathe out. Knee and elbow come in to touch. Inhale forward and back. Exhale, round. Deep breath in as you come forward. Go at your pace if you need to. Deep breath out as you round. Two more. In. Exhale, round. Last one here. Deep breath in, lifting. Deep breath out, rounding. Release the hand. Release the knee. Come to sit right back down. Once again, take those queens of England, queen of England, wrist circles, or open shut them, even interlacing our fingers and pressing them forward and up like we did before. And you can let it go. Come back to your all fours. And from here, we're going to take our prop. I have a block. If you have your blocks, that's great. If you have your paper towel rolls, that's awesome too. Water bottle will work as well. Bring the prop in between your thighs, okay? So it's right above the knee, right below the pubic bone, that kind of sweet spot of thigh that's all muscle, right? So put it back, put it there, excuse me, and then bring your hands right under your shoulders. You're welcome to tuck the toes if that feels better for you or untucked, whatever works, yeah? So you can just watch me first. We're gonna do like kind of mini push-ups or maybe more like mini chaturangas. Inhale, come forward like you're leaning over an edge. Exhale to bend at the elbows. Don't go past the elbows with the shoulders. Inhale, press up. Exhale, hips towards heels. You can go as far as you want. Inhale, forward. Exhale, lower. Breathe in, rise. Breathe out, hips towards heels. Let's do it together. Well, five times. Inhale, forward of the fingertips. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hips towards heels. Keep squeezing that prop. Inhale, forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. 
exhale, hips towards heels. Three more times. Breathe in, come forward. Breathe out to lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hips towards heels. Full breath in, full breath out. Bend the elbows. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hips towards heels. Last one here. Inhale, forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hips towards heels. Come back through center. Remove your prop and bring it towards the top of the mat. Maybe you felt your inner thighs fire on. Maybe not. That's okay if you didn't too. We all have our own experiences here. And then I want you to bring your hands to your props. So you can walk them back a little bit if you need to. And step the right foot forward of your um, blanket if you have it right underneath the blocks. Yeah, so you can make space if you need to, a wider stance. You can walk the right foot over to the right a little bit more. Just take that space if you need it, okay? And you can bring fingertips to your props. And we're just gonna make big pelvic circles in the right, the direction of clockwise. I wanted to say right because I'm on the right side, but no, clockwise. So breathe in, come forward, breathe out, come back. Moving with the breath. Inhale, big circle. Exhale, round it back. One more time in this direction. Breathe in. And out. Now take it in counterclockwise. Breathe in, come forward. Breathe out. Come down and back. Inhale, up. Exhale, down and back. Good. Just one more time. Inhale, forward. Exhale, down and back. So nice. You can walk the foot over so it's just in line with the hip here and bring the knee over the ankle. Once you're ready, breathe in, press to the feet. Inhale, arms sweep, spread and up. Find your balance and exhale here. Keep lifting through the side body as you breathe in and as you breathe out here. Allow yourself to come down just a little bit more. Just gaze down at your knee. Make sure it's tracking over that second toe. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more deepest breath in. Exhale, swim the hands back down to your props. Bring the right knee back down to the mat. And then we'll switch sides. You can set the left foot forward. And you can remember get more space for the pelvic circles. So bring that left foot to the left side of your mat, maybe the edge. You can come onto fingertips if that feels better. And then we'll go counterclockwise, breathing in to come forward, breathing out to round down and back. Inhale forward. Exhale down and back, making these circles as big or small or pelvis needs. Okay, so feel into your body. Listen to what it might need in this moment and honor that. And take one more deep breath in as you come forward. Exhale, round back. And we'll take a counterclockwise. Inhale, come forward to the left. And exhale, bring it down and to the right. Breathe in. Big circle. Breathe out, completing it. One more deep breath in. Exhale. Good. Just toe heel, walk that left foot over so it's in line with your left hip if that's comfortable on your pelvis. Keep the knee stacked over the ankle. It can be behind the ankle, but don't go past the ankle, okay? Down through your hands. Inhale, rise up. Exhale to stay. Maybe bring one hand to pubic bone, one hand to sacrum. Draw your pubic bone up and your sacrum, your low back down. Yeah, protecting our low back. Breathe in, breathe out for low lunge, Anjaneyasana. Full breath in, keep lifting. Full breath out, can you soften the face? One more deepest breath in, and exhale, sweep the hands down to the blocks. Step that knee back, plant the palms onto the mat, tuck your toes, inhale. Exhale, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. You can pedal out the feet, moving with the breath. Full breath in, full breath out. 
Inhale. Exhale. Press down to the knuckles and the hands. And spin those armpits towards the ears towards the ears and notice if your ribs are really flaring down towards the ground and just kind of tuck them in slightly so that they're in line with your hips. Allow the head to hang heavy down towards the ground, letting any negative thoughts or thoughts that don't serve you just drip, drip, drip onto the mat. Take another full breath in through the nose. Spread out the mouth, <sighs> letting it go. From here, we're going to walk the feet forward towards the top of the mat. So bring your feet on the edges of the mat. If that's too wide, you can bring them back to where they were. Just walk slowly, slowly, slowly towards the top. Maybe your props are there. You'd like to put your hands on your props. And you can just bend into one knee and the other, invite some movement into your Uttanasana, into your forward fold. Shake the head, yes, shake it, no. If baby's right there in front of you, you can tickle baby, you can smile at baby. Hi baby. And then press down through the feet, inhale, slowly rise up, all the way to Tadasana mountain pose. So we'll get to be able to hold and move with you in a moment. If your baby wants to be held and wants to be moving with you. But first, I want us to take a prop. Remember how we had this between our legs earlier? Same thing, but we're standing this time. So bring this block between the thighs. Yeah, really squeeze it. Remember, it's right above the knees, right below the pubic bone. We're gonna come into chair pose, squeezing the block. So I'll show you from the side, yeah. So press down through your feet. They're about hips with distance now, right? Hands can be on your hips. Hands can be at the heart, you choose. Breathe in, get tall. And as you breathe out, bend through the knees. Send your knees back, butt back, keep a flat, back here. So just like I said earlier, pubic bone up, sacrum down. Yeah. Keep bending through the knees. Maybe lift the arms up in line with your ears. Breathe in. Keep reaching as you breathe out. Keep sitting back through the sitting bones and the heels. Inhale. Keep squeezing the block. Exhale to stay. Can you soften the face? Full breath in. Full breath out. Maybe you go a little lower. Inhale, maybe gaze down at baby and smile. Exhale, one more full breath in. Exhale, straighten. Release the arms by your side and release the block. Put it right back down to where it was. Maybe tickle baby for a transition. <laughs> and then you're welcome to pick up baby as next sequence, but please be mindful of taking your time going slowly when we move through the transition, just to keep yourself and baby safe. So my baby is going to be a block today. Come to the Tadasana with your baby, breathe in. And as you breathe out, shift your weight into the right foot and begin to step the left foot back behind you. Now, stay here, have baby in your arms, Breathe and keep your hips squared towards the front of the mat. And breathe out. Keep the bend in the front knee, maybe look down so it's tracking towards your second toe. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Keep squeezing your inner thighs together for stability. Full breath in, full breath out. Gaze is at one point that's not moving. It's very fixed. From here, we're going to inhale, press through the feet. Straighten through the legs and exhale, re-bend both knees, come back down. Maybe get baby involved, arms involved, inhale, straighten legs, press baby forward, exhale, bringing baby back, bend knees. Inhale, straighten through the legs, lift, engage your glutes, maybe bring baby out, exhale, re-bend the knees, 
coming back. One more like that. Breathe in, pressing, lifting, baby, press out. Exhale, bring baby back in, bend through your knees. Good. You can straighten through that back leg, take a breath in. Just shift your weight forward into that right foot. Exhale, left foot steps forward. We're gonna take our time moving back to the opposite side. So if you need to put baby down, if they're squirming, totally fine. If you want to hold them again, that's also okay. So begin to shift the weight into the left foot. Inhale and exhale, step back slowly. Find your on the mat, yeah? Breathe in here and breathe out to stay. Just gaze down at your front knee. Make sure it's tracking over that second toe. Keep lifting from the back hamstring. Yeah? And from here, we're gonna inhale, straighten through the legs, maybe lift baby up. Exhale, re-bend the knees, bring baby back in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, re-bend. Breathe in, rise. Breathe out, lower. And just last time, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, re-bending. Good. Breathe in to straighten to the back leg. Shift your weight forward. Gaze at one point and exhale, step forward. Beautiful. You guys did it. Okay. And even if you that's okay, right? Because it's not what yoga is about. Yoga is about stilling our minds, moving with the breath. So you can put baby back down. If you don't want to be involved anymore, that's okay. I'm also going to move the blanket out of the way so that we don't fall on it. So if you have a blanket, you can move yours too. You're welcome to keep baby in your arms or just do this without baby to start. So I'm going to show you without baby and then I'll show you on the other side with baby. Okay. So hands to the hips, breathe in here. Get up nice and tall, press down through your right foot and then breathe out, step the left foot back behind you. Feel the back heel down, straighten through the front leg and turn your toes in. Just press through the feet evenly, really press down, ground down through the outer edges of the feet to get tall. Reach the arms out wide, find this star pose. Breathe in and out. You can bring the hands back down to the hips. Turn your right toes towards the top of the mat. Bend through that front knee. You can adjust your leg, dance as needed. Maybe you want a longer stance or a shorter stance, right? It's up to you and your body. Like I said, I'm going to show this without baby first. So reach the arms forward and back. Breathe in, gazes over the right fingertips and breathe out. Press down through your feet. Make sure you have a heel to arch alignment as you breathe in and breathe out. Keep pressing through that back outer edge of the foot. Deep breath in, deep breath. Moving a little dynamically here. Flip both palms, inhale, straighten through the front leg, lift the arms. Exhale, bend the front knee, arms swim down for warrior two. Inhale, flip the palms, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, rebend, arms come down. One more like that, breathe in. Arms sweep up high and breathe out, rebend, arms come down. And from here, flip the front palm, breathe in and reach up and back to breathe out. Your left fingers can be light on your calf or maybe even your thigh, you don't have to go that far, or even the hip. Yeah, just make sure you're looking to the wall and not up, we don't wanna make it a back bend. Right arm can reach up towards the sky or even over your right ear. Take what feels best in your body. Breathe in, keep reaching up, breathe out. Can you soften that left shoulder, soften the face? Inhale, exhale, one more deep breath in. And exhale, come forward. Bring the right arm top of your right thigh. Lift that left arm up and over the ear or just in line with the shoulder. Breathe in here. Keep lifting off of that right thigh, that right hip. Breathe out. Keep pressing through your feet. Inhale. 
exhale, gazing at one point that's not moving, either right in front of or up towards the sky. One deep breath in, one deep breath out. Moving dynamically again, inhale, arms sweep up, peaceful warrior. Exhale, come forward, extended side angle. Two more times, inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, come forward. One more deep breath in and deep breath out. It will come up through a warrior two, hands to the hips, straighten through the legs, turn your toes in, maybe shorten your stance to get some stability. And then you can bend into one knee and the other, maybe shake your hips too. Yeah, yoga can be fun and silly too. Sometimes we take it very seriously, especially, yeah, in the yoga community. Sometimes people take it so seriously, but it should be fun, right? We're inviting movement into the body, movement with the breath. We're really embodying this vessel that we, that we live in through the Raga lifetime. Why not make it a little silly, a little fun, bringing smiles to our faces? So this time, if you want baby, a little added challenge, you can pick up the here. And we'll hold on tight and turn your back, your left toes now to the back edge of the mat. Yeah, make sure you have a heel to arch a limit and then bend through the front knee. You might want to make your stance wider or shorter depending on what you're feeling in the pelvis. If you have any pain in the pelvis, you can always walk your back foot in so that your stance is shorter and not go as deep in the knee. So just take note of that, notice what you're feeling. Keep pressing that knee down, breathe in and breathe out. Yeah, make sure it's tracking forward, not towards the left or the right. Good, breathe in here. When you straighten through the legs, you can press baby forward. Your capacity doesn't have to be fully straightened through the arms. And then breathe out, rebend to bring baby back. <laughs> Try focus on a fixed point. Inhale, baby comes out. Exhale, bring them in. Good. Let's do one more. Inhale, straighten through the leg. Arms reach out with the baby. Exhale, bring them in. Good. And from here, just bring baby into your back right arm if you can. And then reach the left arm up and back. Find that peaceful. Breathe in and breathe out the nose or the mouth. You're at your fixed point, gaze towards the wall, inhale, exhale, feel the stability in your feet. One more deep breath in and exhale, come forward and up. You can switch baby into that left arm and reach the right arm up, either up in line with the shoulder or over your ear. And just Notice that my arm isn't all the way down on my leg. That's okay. You're kind of holding yourself up here. Breathe in. Breathe out for extended side angle. Deep breath in. Maybe you want to look up towards the hand. Deep breath out. Maybe you want to look down at baby. One more deep breath in. And exhale. Bring your hand down to baby. Straighten through that front leg. Turn your toes in. Walk your feet together. And bend into one knee and then the other, holding baby. Maybe bring them out, up and down, up and down. Yeah. Right. And then they can come along for the ride for our squats if they like, or you can place them back onto their comfy spot. So wherever that feels, whatever feels best for you and your baby. I'll do it with the blocks just to show you. So we're gonna go through squats. I'll show you from the side first so you can see how controlled we are in the movements of the low back. And then we'll do it together. So our feet, firstly, they're just a little bit wider than hips. So we don't have this extremely wide stance, right? We want some stability here, especially when holding baby. So bring baby close to you, inhale and exhale, begin to sit low, knees back, butt back, just like we did in chair pose, and keep a flat back as much as you can. So pubic bone pulls up, sacrum goes down. Good. So 
lift back up. We're going to do it with the breath. We're going to go down on the inhale. So we'll breathe in to prepare and breathe out. Good. Inhale, sit low. Knees back, butt back, heart forward. Exhale, lift. Breathe in, sit low, flat back, engage the thighs. Exhale, squeeze the glutes to come up. Breathe in, sitting low and breathing out to lift up. Inhale, maybe pressing baby forward when you bend the knees. Exhale, bring them back in and lift up. Straighten the legs. One more time. Inhale, sit low and exhale to stay. We'll just involve the arms this time. So if you have baby here, breathe in. Reach baby out as far as you can. Breathe out. Bring them in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One last one. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Straighten through the legs. Come out of it. Bend through one knee. Bend through the other. And we'll take a little bit of a wider this time. So our feet were just as wide as our hips. Now we're going to widen them just a little bit more. But I still want you to feel stable. So if you feel like, whoa, this is really wide. I'm going to fall. I don't feel stable. Then please shorten your stance. Yeah. And if this isn't comfortable for your pelvis to be so wide, you can also take this shorter stance. Okay. All right. Let's do it. So you can have baby. Excuse me. Same concept, right? We're going to go knees back, butt back, heart full, flat back. Keep the back flat to protect your low back, right? All right. Inhale to prepare. Exhale to stay. Breathe in, sit low, knees back, butt back, heart forward. Exhale, pressing up, engage your hamstrings. Good. Inhale, sit low. Exhale, rise. Maybe get the arms involved. Breathe in, sit low, press baby forward. Be that lift, bring them back. Inhale, sit low. Exhale, lift. One more time. Breathe in, sit back, keep that flat back as much as you can. Exhale, bring it up. Ooh, one more time. Breathe in, sit low, bonus, and breathe out to stay. Good, just the arms, okay? Breathe in, lift, baby. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in, keep pressing through the feet. Breathe out. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale, you're doing great. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out, straighten through those legs. Let it go. Bend in the one and the other. Let it go. Now, option to keep baby for these next squats. Promise last, last squats we're doing. We're almost done with squats. Or you can do it without baby. I'll show it with baby. And then I'll show without baby as well. So. From here, take your your stance, right? But you're still stable. Toes turn out, heels turn in. Breathe in and out. Good. When we inhale, we bend through the knees and exhale. So just notice my knees are over my ankles as much as I can. I'm sitting straight down. So I'm not coming forward as much. I'm sitting straight down. Good. And then on the exhale, we're going to press through the feet, especially the heels, to lift. Okay, so let's do it again. Inhale. Baby comes out. Bend the knees. Exhale. Come back in. Good. Breathe in. And out. Full breath in. Bend the knees. Press forward. Full breath out. One. Inhale. And exhale. So option here, I said you can do it without baby too. So we're going to do the static one without baby. So we're just using our arms. So breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. Inhale, sit low. Exhale to stay. Breathe in, arms make a big circle up. Exhale as they come down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe breathing out your nose. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one here. You're doing great. Inhale. And exhale. So nice. 
hands to your hips, straighten through the legs, bend into one knee and the other. Maybe turn your toes in so they're parallel with the short edges of the mat. And you can walk the feet in closer. Done with squats. And now we're going to cool down. So bring your feet about as wide as your hips. Turn your toes out, heels in. Hands can be at your heart. Hands can be at your hips. Breathe in. Find length in your spine. And as you breathe out, begin to sit low. Bringing the elbows in line with your knees. Press the elbows into the knees. Knees are also pressing into your elbows. And begin to lift the heart towards your thumb. So the sternum here is that bone that protects our heart. So press it forward and up, reaching for the thumbs. Can you press your heels down into the mat? Can you press all four corners of the feet into the mat? And breathe in. Imagine a string on the top of the head lifting you up. Exhale, breathe in, breathe out from Malasana. So nice, one more deep breath in. And exhale, hands to the mat. Slowly fold forward. Once again, bend through the knee and the other knee. And we'll start to come down towards the ground. So you can bring your hands to your props or the mat. And just bring one knee down and then the other. So nice. Good. And we'll come to a child's pose. If you have that um, pillow, I was going to say prop the pillow or the bolster. If you have that, you can bring it onto the mat. If you have blocks, you can also set up blocks if you want like a super restorative um, balasana child's pose. So you can put blocks on the two widest heights and then bring the bolster or the pillow on top, right? And we're just going to kind of straddle the edge of the bolster. It takes a little finagling, but once you get there, it's really good. And if you want a blanket, you can take a blanket, fold it once, maybe fold it twice. If it works blanket, I think mine's too thick and then place it at the top of the, the pillow. And from here, just lengthen the spine up and exhale, walk the hands forward, forward lead with the heart. And then you can bring maybe a cheek, the pillow or the bolster, maybe one cheek or the other. Or if you have this folded blanket, you might want to put the forehead directly down or maybe you're just in a child's pose without these props. That's perfectly fine too. We're just gonna breathe into the belly, all the way up to the heart base, and breathe out. Breathe in and out. Good. One more full breath in, full breath out. Now you can stay like this as long as you need to. I imagine some babies are up crawling. So maybe begin to walk the hands back, back, back. So you're up, you can remove the props. Maybe bring the blanket behind you so you have something to sit on. And notice baby at the top of the mat again. And from here, you can bring baby with you. So we're gonna extend our legs out long. You can bring baby onto your thighs or onto your shins. And we're gonna take a nice forward fold, just releasing the back again. So breathe in, maybe arms reach up. Really gain length in the spine. And on the exhale, begin to fold forward, forward, forward. And you can tickle baby. Just make sure you have a straight spine to your capacity, what's available to you. So just make sure that the heart is open, breathe in, neck is in line with the spine, breathe out. Hi, baby. <laughs> full breath in and full breath out, maybe wiggling your toes, flexing them towards your baby, touching your baby's back. They're sitting on your feet or your ankles. One more deep breath in, 
and exhale. Come all the way up. And we're gonna take butterfly or Bada So bring the soles of the feet together. Your legs are going to be wide here. And you can either be baby right on your feet, they can hang out or in between your legs or even to the side. So kind of just wherever they wanna hang out, right? While you're getting this nice hip opener. So I'll turn the face you so you can see. And breathe in here. Maybe even flap your butterfly wings. Breathe out. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Also, maybe your baby wants to do butterfly too or touch their toes. So you can place baby in front of you. And you can show them how to touch their toes. Yeah, most babies like this, right? A lot of babies do. Breathe in. And out. <sighs> yeah, just tapping into that. One more deep breath in. One more out. Flutter it out the mouth. <sighs> Maybe make baby laugh and come all the way up. Amazing. And from here, we're going to begin to set up for a few abs, ab um, poses. So for this, we're going to have baby on top of our shins. So I'll show you how we're gonna do this. Maybe you can hold on to babe and then walk your hands down, coming all the way onto the back, okay? All the way on your back. And then lift your shins up so they're parallel with the sky, with the ceiling rather, and the ground, okay? And then lift baby up and put baby on shins. Yeah, and you can hold their arms Try as much as you can to relax the shoulders and relax the head down towards the ground. If that's not working for you, you need to lift up to hold baby's arms. That's okay. Just try to relax the head, release it down towards the mat. And on the inhale, we're going to press our toes and therefore our legs forward just enough. We're still holding on to baby. And on the exhale, bring it back in. Maybe you feel your core light up. Inhale, pressing forward just enough. Exhale, bring it back. Good. Let's do two more. Inhale, press forward. Exhale, bring it back in with control. One more deep breath in. Come forward and deep breath out. Come back. Uh, you can take baby in your hands, release the feet down to the earth. Baby can come onto your lap if you need to. And we're going to take bridge pose. You can take bridge pose with baby on your hips if you want, or if you need a little space out, you can put baby off to the side. That's whatever feels best for you in this moment. Honor that. Be true to yourself, right? And press through the feet. Make sure they're about hips to distance. You can even feel for the backs of your feet so they're super close, right? And as you breathe in, begin to lift the hip points, breathe out. <sighs> Inhale here to stay. Exhale. Keep engaging your inner thighs together. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep engaging the glutes. Full breath in. Full breath out, press evenly through the feet, last deep breath in, and exhale, lower down. We'll just go through a few bridges that are a little dynamic, and that might be fun for baby as well. So press through the feet on the inhale, lift up, exhale, lower, lighting up the back of the body. Inhale, press up, lift up, engage the hamstrings, exhale, lower. Breathe in, lift, breathe out, lower. One more like that, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. So nice, let it go, good. All right, we're officially cooling down now. You have an option if you have a wall near you. We're going to come to legs up the wall and baby can stay on you too, that's totally fine. So you can come close to your wall. 
If you don't have a wall, you can just bring your legs up into the sky. That's okay too. It's just a little more apt because you don't have the wall there to kind of hang out on, but you can still bring your legs up to get the same effect. If you have the wall, just bring the legs up the wall. Yeah, make sure your spine is in one line. Baby might be on you. Baby might be off to the side. And just allow the feet to really feel this reverse pull of gravity. It's not often that our feet are in this position of pulling up towards the sky, right? They're kind of our bridge to the earth. Take us from point A to point B. They connect us to people and places. So just giving them a moment of rest. Breathe in, breathe out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale. And exhale. And taking as many breaths as you need. Exhaling out the nose or the mouth for the next five rounds of breath. Even if baby is moving, calling for attention, can you still breathe in through the nose and breathe out? One more deep round of breath. Let it go. You're welcome to stay like this for your Shavasana. Or if you'd like, you can just do one leg or one knee and the other. And just roll to your side. And you can set up for Shavasana with baby if you'd like. You can bring that pillow underneath your knees. You can turn off the light. You can make this Shavasana yours. So bring the knees on top of the bolster of the pillow. Maybe grabbing baby in one hand and then slowly, slowly releasing yourself down towards the ground on the back. And they can just rest on you or off to the side if that's what they want. You can bring your hands onto your body if they're free. Or me off to the side, taking up space, becoming expansive through the body. Maybe there are noises around you. And that's okay. Just tuning into the present moment really dropping into what is right now. You can close the eyes completely or keep them open if that feels more comfortable for you. Begin to let go of your practice or any expectations or judgments you had about your practice. Can you honor yourself for showing up today, taking the time for yourself and to bond with baby. And just be here in silence, noticing your breath, noticing what's around you through your senses for the next minute.
begin to invite that deeper current of breath into the body once more, filling it with air and emptying it out the mouth. <sighs> you can begin to wiggle fingers and toes, maybe touch each finger to your thumb tip, licking the lips, and bend through one knee and the other. If you're practicing during the day, please come to your right side. If you're practicing at night, please come to the left. The more lunar side is the left. The more solar side is the right. Hold yourself there for a moment. Maybe tickle baby. Thank yourself for your practice. Impress yourself up. Come to the seated position, whatever's comfortable for you maybe holding on to baby. And just take another full breath in. Find that length in the spine. Full breath out. Okay. We'll inhale one more time like that. Take it deep in. Let it go out the mouth. <sighs> if your hands are free, you can bring them at heart center. And I'll bow down to you to honor your own practice, to honor you for showing up to your own practice. I thank you for sharing your practice with me today. And the light inside of me bows to and honors the light inside that I see of you. Thank you so much. And I hope this practice is nourishing for you, for baby. And I hope to see you again so soon. Please let me know if you have any questions. Please let me know if there's anything I can explain or further do for you. And I'm so happy to. Thank you from the bottom of my heart.